It looks something like this. Hello gorgeous, welcome back to my channel. We're doing a DIY today and it's something a little bit different. I don't really, I haven't done very many DIYs with you guys here on my channel, but I do them on my blog or I used to all the time. And this right here is a gallery wall. Duh. But I had one with the floating shelves in LA, in our LA house, and I loved it so much. And it was probably one of my most complimented features of the house. Like people just loved it. So I brought the shelves with me, but because this is such a huge wall, we decided to double the shelves. So we actually have four there. And I'm going to take you through the process of arranging them. These are just like slapped up there right now. These are all gonna come down. We're gonna paint some frames today. We're gonna frame some new photos and then we're gonna style them. So I'm so excited. Okay, so these shelves right here, they're floating shelves. Um, I'll put the details and I'll link them below. They're from Pottery Barn. They're not cheap. And I actually saw on Pinterest um, a DIY pin where you can make them yourself, but it was a lot of work and I just didn't want to put the time into it. So I went ahead and bought the shelves already done. I'm sure you can find them other places. I'll do a little research after I film this and link if I find any saves versus splurges and I'll put them on the blog if I find them. But these are the, the uh, white weathered oak and they don't match our floors in this house like they did our last house, but I still love them. I think they look so beautiful against the white walls. The walls are Sherwin-Williams Eater White um, for everybody who asks all the time. I get that question so much. Um, but as you can see, I, I haven't mixed, I have the pictures mixed in with other pictures. Like I have a painting up here that's color and I don't want that. I want everything uniform, I want everything black and white, all white frames. So all of those things that are not uniform are gonna come down and we're gonna replace them with a more uniform look. Back in February when we first got to Nashville and COVID really wasn't a thing, I stopped at the local thrift store and I grabbed every picture frame in all these different sizes for 99 cents and a can of spray paint, which is like what, four or five bucks. And I'm just going to paint them all white and have all these different sizes. I printed off all my photos at Costco um, back in February, actually the beginning of March, and I just never went to get them because of COVID. So I picked those up the other day and now we're going to just do these really quickly and spray paint dries so fast. So this is gonna be a project that's fun, quick and easy. Let's get started. Okay, a couple of tips that you wanna do. You wanna make sure you've shaken this up really, really good. You wanna move all of your workspace away from anything that you can possibly overspray because you might get overspray, especially your lungs. Move it away from your lungs or wear a mask. Um, and then you wanna use movements that are like sweeping movements and not too close. I've learned by trial and error and causing bubbles like this um, that if you get too close, you're gonna spray too heavy, it's gonna get uneven. So you wanna do swiping motions evenly up away from it. So we got our first coat on, we're gonna let it dry for a minute and then come back and put a second coat on. We're kind of racing against the rain. We do have a chance of rain today, but we have a little bit of a break, so we're gonna take advantage of that. I'm gonna go shower because I have to go film an Instagram live in the meantime and do a nail tutorial. And then we're gonna come back to this project and get going. Okay, so after they got their first coat on, the rain came rolling in, so we had to move them here under the porch, give them a second coat, and honestly, it's been a day or two since we filmed, I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, we did a rookie move here and we left these out in the rain. So some of them are a little bit warped. It's okay, we'll make it work. But I'm gonna move all of these inside now to the dining room table and we're gonna get all of our pictures framed up and then we're gonna go upstairs and get them all arranged and looking pretty. Okay, so if you guys remember in our last house in LA, we had the floating shelves and it was two of them. I loved it so much. I, got, I, I think that I got more compliments on that than probably anything else in our house. So I wanted to do the same thing and I brought the shelves with us when we moved But that wall that it's on was so huge that we decided to do two of them So there's four different shelves and I think it turned out amazing But I wanted to continue with the theme that I had before which is all black and white family photos and I Remember probably a couple of years ago our photographer in LA She printed off some photos as a, as a gift or a thank you and gave them to us and they were the most beautiful prints ever and I was like tell me all of your tricks I need to know and she goes uh Costco and you use luster that is the trick and so ever since then anything I do is the luster at Costco and the pictures look so much better like so much better not sponsored just a pro tip so all I'm doing is just putting my pictures in the frames right now matching them up and hoping that none of them are too badly damaged if so we'll just use 
a little bit of cardboard and get them looking right. Did I put glass? Oh, you dummy, I didn't do glass. I, just, I knew something wasn't right there. Using my mom's cleaning pack, just using some rubbing alcohol on a dry paper towel. And it gets all of the smudges out. That is a pretty beautiful picture and it looks like a brand new frame and it cost me $1.99. Hmm. So I accidentally ordered a, cup, a couple pictures wrong so I'm having to trim this one down. accidentally trimmed my edges too short on this photo, which I was pretty much counting on doing, so I'm just using a little bit of clear tape to tape down the edges so that you don't see my mistake. Done, 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 done. We are done. They look amazing, and I'm very proud of myself for spending about anywhere from like 90 cents to $1.99 on each frame. Like. The only thing is that I had two frames here, these two, that were already, I bought them at a local boutique and I loved them, but I forgot to account for them when I was printing off. So I ran upstairs, went through my wedding album and pulled two wedding pictures that were in black and white and we got them framed. So the only thing that's a little bit wonky is I already had this frame and it's got like this floating thing and it just doesn't fit right. So I'll probably, I'll redo this one at a later time, but for now at least I can get the area started. So let's take these upstairs and get them in order. So this is one that I'm not sure is gonna stay or not, so I'm gonna set this here and we're going to go get all of the other pictures that are already done. I've already painted them, ready to go, and then we're gonna put them with the ones that are, are the original ones, and we're gonna mix them in, get them styled, and make them look really good. We're gonna save this one, because I'm not sure how it will line up with everything else, just because of the size, but I'm gonna put it down there in the meantime, just in case. Okay, so as you guys can see, I went ahead and lined them all up here, except for the smaller frames right down there. And I'm gonna start putting the bigger frames in place because they're kind of the anchor of my look. And then the smaller ones will kind of, will be the ones that are gonna go in front. So it's gonna be a little trial and error. I could be mathematical and measure everything out, but ain't nobody got time for that. I'd rather just spend all my time doing it and redoing it and redoing it. So let's go ahead and just start putting them up there and see what happens. It's finished, what do you guys think? I love it, it looks exactly the way that it did in LA except for just double the size. But it's such a fun take on the gallery wall because I feel like everybody and their brother does a gallery wall and I appreciate it, I respect it, but I like to do something that's a little bit different, a little bit more personalized, it has a little bit of character and I feel like this does. Plus, it feels good that I actually DIY'd a lot of the frames and I saved money on it. So if you guys end up doing one of these in your house, 
Make sure you post a photo on Instagram and tag me because I want to see what it, how it turns out. I'm going to put a bunch of photos of this on my blog and then a step-by-step. -step. I'll link everything for you if you have any questions. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a comment below if you want to see more DIYs from me because I'm constantly DIYing stuff. Like I just DIYed a uh, olive tree downstairs in my living room and it looks amazing and it was a lot cheaper to do it that way than to buy an expensive nice one. So, all right guys, thank you so much for watching and I love you all so much. Au revoir. Like, just a little bit of stretch, Levi's. Just a little bit, that's all we need. And this top is atrocious. Like, online it was so cute, but look how like, it just, it, it looks like I'm like,